Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there, there was a room behind me. Stop flaking out there, sensor bar. Oh, it was just a save room. I thought it'd be something exciting. So yeah, welcome back to Metroid Prime. We were raiding more of the space pirate shit. Also, last time we got the super missile. What is a super missile, you might not be asking? It is a, a big ass explosion. But I'm gonna be quite amused if they don't ask you to use it for a little while. These are all just basic missile rocks. What you do? What do? Control tower. Oof. That's new. I'm sorry, baby. I got dander fall over you. Yeah. But I wanna double check one thing. Because I think the Corridite or whatever that I tried blowing up last episode is Super Missile Week. So I want to double check that. That's right, stupid turrets. You never saw all oh, one saw me, but shh. You can open. Well, you got in the way of my shot. I was trying to break your turret, but no, I'm about to get in the way. Oh, that's cute. He thinks he's being stealthy. Got him. Goodbye. Alright, is this what I think it was? Oh, I missed. There we go. It's a missile expansion. Look at that. Can, can I grab the missile? There we go. Alright, you can live. I just want the missile expansion. Yeah, but uh, super missiles cost five missiles every time. Oh, lovely. So, there's an incentive to not just spam them. Well, fun fact, every weapon actually has its own super missile variant. Super missile is just the variant of the uh, charge beam. So something I'm not too fond of is that missiles can, besides finding pickups, can only be replenished by going back to your ship. Meanwhile, health is replenished by any save station. Yeah, we're going somewhere new. Ooh! An oh. adventure? Why, why are you being difficult? Hey, I was just breaking a box. There's no reason to get angry with me. I want a sword? Why can't I have a sword? I mean, you guys got lasers. I got that too. My lasers are better though. My lasers are bigger than your lasers. I mean, they are. Oh, look at those flying pirates. I wonder if they're the same two I uh, saw earlier. The homing characteristics of the uh, wave beam kind of make the fact you fly irrelevant. That all we done here. That door's still locked. Why is the door I can't? How rude 
to just appear unannounced. Look, it, why are you trying to kamikaze into me? Doesn't work as well as you think it does. There, there it is. Oh, I need the extreme heat. Because I can break that, and I think that gets me one of the artifacts. But without the plasma beam, can't do bugger all. I think the plasma beam is the last beam you get. Yeah. Where do you take me? Research lab, ether. Okay, so you have Hydra and Ether. Like, why? Why those names? Anything else around here? Boxes of any kind? No. Uh oh. Everybody's least favorite. What? Well, everyone's least favorite when it comes to this or this franchise. What? I don't know anything about Metroids. This. Oh. A parasitic creature that will latch itself onto your head. Oh, beautiful. And I don't have a weapon yet that makes the, fighting these things easy. Because Metroids are extremely susceptible to cold. Fuck. Kill it. Kill the boy. Yeah, they're a type of enemy that will latch onto... It's just, just a space pirate. <laughs> but yeah, they will latch onto your head, obstructing your vision, and will drain health from you until you get it off. Lovely. Hmm. But once you get the ice beam, fighting Metroids becomes more just, do you have missiles? Yeah. Because you can fire at them with a charge shot from the ice beam, which will freeze them in place. Okay. And then fire a missile and it shatters them. Sweet. Good, good deal? No, it is. It's just... Well, Sorry, I don't know anything about these games, so... <laughs> Well, it's more annoying because Metroids fly, basically. Yeah. And having a flying thing that can end, they're usually not alone. There's usually a couple of them in every room. Lovely. Who's shooting? I'm trying to scan things. Okay, these are not just normal Metroids. They're Metroids infused with Phazon. I don't know what that is. And they're trying to use them as batteries? Oh, Phazon is just like a... It's like a um, corrosive. Uh, oh, what's, how am I getting here? It's a corrosive substance. 
but apparently has properties of uh, like oh shit it can be it can also like be used as a power source as well that's extremely dangerous the character uh, Dark Samus in well she originally from Prime 2 but I'm sure a lot of people nowadays who haven't played Metroid will know her from Smash is a being created entirely of Phazon. So hmm. it's like it was almost like given a will of its own kind of thing. Okay. You stay right there. <sighs> oh goodness, sorry guys. Yes, Ice Beetle. Yep. Kill the boy. It's dead. Did you kill the boy? Yep. <laughs> oh, I think this is where the thermal fires are coming through the play. Why? Quickly, once I get to the bottom of this room, it's going to go dark. You know, if you can at least see in thermal Im imagery, or whatever the official name for it's called, uh, you don't really need to see if it's a dark room or not. You just gotta look for... for those spikes. Like, spikes in yeah. temperature. Oh good, there are Metroids in this room as well. What's this machine? You supply the power to the containment force field. Uh, of course, and I'm gonna have to turn it off, aren't I? You know, I don't feel like that's a smart decision on my part, and of course. That's a ice beam door. Okay, scan it. All right, which one of you is the inform command that thermal vision test will begin soon? Sure. Where, where, where's the where's the console? Where, how do I tell the boss uh, I need the thermal? I open. Number three, four shields must be deactivated. Wait. Uh, it's gonna make me go all over the room. Huh? It's gonna make me go all over the room looking for the. Cause I think all the four shields are those yellow tethers coming off the machine. Yeah. One more. So at the top of it was the one at the top of the room. God damn it. Thought I was making things a little quicker by just going to the bottom. Fastest way to oh, I just, now it's the fastest way down. It looks green like my other one. What's the difference? Why did? Uh, why did deactivate grabbing the thermal beam turn off the door? Hey, 
Okay. Oh. He's invisible. Can I scan him? No, I, I, I won't. I want, I want to... I want to scan the body. That's not creepy. I wasn't giving me an option to scan him when he was invisible, so... Yep. At least the thermal vi Oop. Go away, Metroid. I was gonna say, at least with the thermal virus, you can get a very clear idea of what the room's like. have had to murderize you. Where did that button go? Or is it a... It's on the next floor. Yeah, I'm not sure how... Like, I get thermal scene enemies in that. I'm not sure how it lets you see, like, power sources that are deactivated. Yeah, it's a dork room. You can stay in there. Okay, the turrets aren't made visible by the visor. That's interesting. Yeah, like it shows up and then it just disappears. Excuse me, there's a there's an expect a missile expansion. How do I get? How do you get? Um figured it out. And I'm probably made my life a lot harder by doing this in the dark. <laughs> Do a fall. Do not do a fall. Nope, nope. Ha. How this work for five missiles? Yeah, because of that door with, that needs the ice beam at the bottom of this lab, though, means I'm going to have to come back at some point. Lovely. And it doesn't get any brighter, it stays dark in here. Lovely. Oh, she's going to 
for it. Yep, still dark. So, I guess we'll have to figure out what to do with the thermal visor next time. Unless something gets in my way while I'm getting to... Go away, pirates. I don't, I don't have time for you. Unless something gets in my way when I go to the safe room. God damn it. Seriously, all I did was unplug a thermal visor. Why is your entire system down? We'll see everybody next time on Three Dorks Plays. Peace!